Mao offered Kissinger 10 million Chinese women. Mao Zedong offered Kissinger an unusual trade deal. In his words, China was a very poor country, but it had an excess of women, Mao said. Let them go to your place. They will create disasters. That way, you can lessen our burdens. In our country, we have too many women. They give birth to children, and our children are too many. Kissinger replied, It is such a novel proposition. We will have to study it. It was President Nixon's idea to visit China. Kissinger initially thought the idea was crazy, but he later went to Beijing as an American envoy. Very few people knew about the trip. The plan was to sneak into China over the Himalayas. In June 1971, Kissinger landed in Pakistan. He feigned a stomach ache. He claimed he needed a few days to recuperate. Kissinger came to the airport in pitch darkness. A Pakistani diplomat drove him personally. In Beijing, Kissinger secured an invitation for Nixon. Nixon announced his trip on live television, but it wasn't scheduled for many months. Nixon arrived in Beijing in February 1972. He was the first U.S. president to visit China. The visit was compared to the moon landing, but there were a number of faux pas. Nixon's wife Pat insisted on wearing a red coat. Red was often associated with prostitutes. The gift from the U.S. to China was a little odd. It was a pair of muskoxen named Matilda and Milton. Nixon could get tipsy from a glass of wine. He drank toasts with high alcohol Mao Tai anyway at the Ming tombs. Nixon met Chinese families. They were having picnics in the bitter cold. They had brand new clothes and transistor radios. After Nixon left, the radios were collected in a bag. Mao had been diagnosed with heart failure. He had a severe lung infection. His throat was swollen and he had difficulty talking. But Mao didn't want Nixon to know about his illness. Kissinger had sent Mao oxygen tanks and a respirator. They were put in a huge lacquered trunk. Other equipment was hidden behind potted plants. Mao had a shave and a haircut for the first time in months. Nixon and Mao were open in their discussion. Nixon had more difficulty convincing Kissinger of his goals. Nixon sought China's help in ending the Vietnam War. China wanted support for reclaiming Taiwan. Both goals were unrealizable. China was unwilling to pressure Vietnam. The U.S. contend its support of Taiwan. Their shared interest was the Soviet Union. Both Nixon and Mao wanted to thwart Soviet expansion. Mao agreed not to assist Vietnam. He also said the Taiwan issue was not important. Kissinger said to Mao, The good thing about our relationship is that we want nothing from each other. To that Mao replied, If I had wanted nothing from you, I would not have invited you. And if you wanted nothing from us, you should not have come. Mao later referred to Kissinger as a funny little man. However, Kissinger was revered in China. On his last visit, he was warmly welcomed by Xi Jinping. An official U.S. envoy only met with lower-ranking officials. After Kissinger's death, Chinese state media honored him. They cited Xi calling him an old friend of the Chinese people.